All right, so let's talk criminal justice here in Wilson County for a minute. Um, in addition to the regular class things that prepare you for jobs like law enforcement and the courts, say attorneys, judges, um, things like that, and also forensic science, jobs that would um, land you at the Tennessee Bureau of Investigations, for example. All of those are great, and the regular class curriculum is wonderful, and we would love to have you in criminal justice, but let's talk about the additional things that you can get from this program for a minute. Um, for starters, we have a statewide dual credit course that will allow you to work while you're in high school towards college courses that you can take with you after you leave. In addition to the statewide dual credit course, we also have the option for you to get two more local dual credits in addition. So you could leave high school with as many as three college courses already done and in the books before you ever get there. That's sort of a big incentive, especially if you're thinking about a major in criminal justice once you leave high school. Now, in addition, we have some students that come into criminal justice and they want to go ahead and earn an industry certification, something that they can put on their resume that will set them apart from other people that they may be interviewing against. So we offer that industry certification through a FEMA course that is recognized nationally. So when you leave here, it doesn't matter where you go get a job anybody is going to recognize a federal emergency management agency industry certification plus on top of that it allows you to graduate with distinction from high school sort of a win-win and lastly if you're not really sure whether this criminal justice field is something you want to get into who better to help you make that decision than the professionals that do it for real every day so your senior year we offer a work-based learning course that allows you to leave here go into the workplace and work with those professionals and see whether you like it or not and if you do like it what what does it take to get their job what kinds of um, education did they get what could they do if they wanted to go back and do it again knowing what they know now they can give you all of that information so it's a great resource so all of those put together are a bunch of extras that you can take advantage of in the criminal justice program Hi guys, Sergeant PJ Hardy, your public information officer for the Lebanon Police Department. I want to talk to you about a career in law enforcement. Now, most agencies require some minimum standards. So, just like our agency, you have to be 21 years old to be able to apply as a police officer. You have to be a U.S. citizen. You have to be able to pass a criminal background check. You have to also be able to pass a, uh, a drug screening. There is also a physical requirement. Ours is an obstacle course that you have to be able to uh, navigate and, and move through and then you also have to be able to pass a psychological exam all of that is done well before your interview so if you have all that accomplished then you can be uh, considered as a police officer now some other considerations you might want to keep in mind is that there are certain traits that are very common as uh, as police officers the biggest trait to have is to be able to be honest you don't want your character to ever be questioned based on your inability to be honest or to be truthful. So always operate day to day, in and out, in true honesty. The other thing is you have to have a, a, a serving heart. We serve our community and we serve them by protecting them and by doing the things that make sure that they stay safe um, and that their rights are being protected. So you have to have that servant type mentality. Um, also, you have to have courage. Courage is something that, that you know, can't be taught. You have to have it. Uh, you have to have courage to be able to stand in, in the face of the, the different things that, that we may see uh, from day to day and to be able to process that and to be able to move forward from that. So that's one of the biggest traits. And then you have to be a great communicator. You have to be able to not only tell and speak and, and get your point across, but you have to be a great listener. That's, that's the, the biggest key of being a great communicator. So those are some of the most common traits. If you have those, then you'll probably have a, an awesome career in law enforcement. Now, what you want to do further from that is you want to make, be able to make sure that you educate yourself. In high school, make sure that you're taking those criminal uh, justice classes that are being offered. Those will really give you a, a step forward and a good idea of what law enforcement is about. If you do well with that and you decide you want to move forward, then you want to take those types of courses, criminal justice courses, um, and, and maybe psychology and some other things in college that will prepare you for your career in law enforcement. Having a criminal justice degree is a definite benefit to becoming a police officer, although it's not required everywhere. So, 
take advantage of that opportunity. Sign up for those criminal uh, justice classes. And if you ever have any questions about law enforcement, uh, local agencies, and that sort of thing, you can always reach out to us. Our phone number is 615-444-2323. And I appreciate uh, taking these few minutes to talk to you. And good luck in your pursuit of becoming a law enforcement officer. Captain Chandler with the Mount Juliet Police Department. I want to encourage you as you start off a new year in a new grade. I was once an eighth grader at Mount Juliet Middle School. And while I didn't understand it at the time when I was your age, I sure understand now how important my education and teachers were to me. My time at Mount Juliet Middle School, Mount Juliet High School, Bethel University and Trevecca University all were important, necessary building blocks in my childhood dream to be a police officer where I have served at the Mount Juliet Police Department for the past 16 years. Currently, I'm the police captain and part of a leadership team who has the wonderful opportunity to lead many dedicated men and women who choose to serve and protect our wonderful community. Our police officers do amazing things to keep our communities safe, and I'm grateful for their commitment. Just like when I was in the eighth grade, you are building your success and your future success, which is no accident. Success comes from hard work, staying strong, picking yourself up when something doesn't go right, Success is learning, studying, sacrifice, and patience. Success is believing in yourself and knowing there is no limitation on what you can be. Success also requires kindness, so please be kind to others. Treat your friends, your fellow students, your teachers with respect and dignity. And remember this too, the only thing people remember about you is the way you treat them. And just like what the artwork says on the wall behind me, we rise by lifting others. I hope each of you continue to rise and do amazing things.